number 16 for famed supervillain the monarch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by day, rather than taking over the world for somebody else, Ian uses Ruby to take over the world for himself. And today he is going to be talking to us about one Ruby app to rule them all. So, I guess we're about five minutes early, but I think we should get started. So, welcome Ian. This is the best opening to a conference I've ever seen. I'm here today to talk about one app to rule them all. So my motivation for this is, is we need to build a fully functioning web API mobile app experience for uh, my company, Zarly, in about two and a half weeks. Can everyone hear me? You doing okay, huh? Right. Uh, we saw the launch at South by Southwest. Uh, it was a rather interesting experience. But, uh, uh, it was more or less an exercise in speed. Uh, for the Rattlers, uh, this is not an argument against multi-app architecture. This is merely just kind of to see organizationally how quickly we can put something out. So uh, I'm DC Ian on Twitter. Uh, I'm the founder and CTO of Zarly.com. I uh, found this picture. I thought it worked really well because uh, being Kazi is a little blurry. I really like looking forward to uh, tasting some of that. Uh, I'm also a nomad. I've lived in 10 different places in the last year. I don't really have a home anymore. I'm just kind of circulating around making friends with people who Itinerary. Uh, so what I'm looking to do here today is basically put together a quick, uh, basic rec uh, rack application, uh, incorporate a API layer with great, throw some authentication in there, use the on, and then do some CMQ messaging. So the all-star team for this: uh, Rails, Sinatra, and Pedrino, which I happen to be very fond of right now. So um, just a quick overview for people who may not know what these are. Uh, Sinatra is a really sweet DSL on top of that. Um, very clear, I think it's very semantic, uh, so you know exactly what's going on, uh, what you're responding to. Uh, Padrino is built on top of Sinatra. It, it adds a lot of the... Out of the web stack, you don't get from Sinatra. Uh, so some of the things you may be familiar with in Rails, you get uh, right out of the box with this. Uh, Grape is an awesome Sinatra-inspired DSL. Uh, it's, it's written to be a, kind of an API layer. Uh, I guess they were uh, Michael B was going for something like Grappy and then like with Grape as the name for this, but it's, it's fast as hell and it, it, uh, it handles formats really sweet and uh, it doing the source definitions. Uh, Zero Q is a high performance uh, asynchronous messaging library. I stole it straight from Wikipedia. Uh, it's really good articles there. And there's, uh, if you go to the CMQ homepage, you can read a little bit more about it. And uh, Dripdop is an abstraction DSL library for wrapping event machines. So, how do we bundle all this together? Um, say, uh, in this little interface we have called Rack. Uh, uh, as of Rails 2.3, and I'm probably wrong about this, if somebody remembers, was it 2.2 or 2.3? 2.3, okay. Uh, we ended up switching over to Rack on Rails. Uh, everyone else is doing it as well. Um, and Rack basically provides agnosticism between the web server and the user. Uh, so getting started, uh, I tend to prefer Padrino at this point. Rails conference, so uh, I did all the examples of Rails. But uh, either just basically start something up or modify what you really want. Um, look real quick for people who don't spend enough time in, in, uh, in Rack. This is a big RU is kind of what uh, Rack is driven off of. So if you look at the default uh, big RU for, um, for Ruby, or sorry, for Rails, 
so let's get to mounting some stuff. Uh, I prefer Rack Cascade. There's a couple others. There's a Rack Builder and a Rack URL map that you can use. But uh, this is basically just going to cascade through each of the apps in sequence. Uh, and Cascade is basically terminated and returned back to the client uh, by the first application, not returned. Uh, so here's a just a real quick skeleton for Grape. Um, see one of the nice features that it does have is versioning. So it'll prefix all of your requests with V1 or whatever you'd like to use. This is nice. This is nice at, at the API level. It allows you to uh, deprecate old ones while uh, working on versions. Uh, I don't have any resource examples in this, but uh, you'll see one later. But uh, you can see that basically returning a hash. Depending on what format you send it in grade, it doesn't really care. It'll, it'll turn it JSON or XML. Uh, so this is a big one. This was this was kind of a pervade in my existence for a little bit of getting shared sessions working across all of these applications. So the big thing to do is uh, basically set up rack, rack session cookie. There's some modifications you have to do to, to Rails session management itself. But the big thing is that you have to use the rack session. So added on in, uh, notice the super important rack session cookie, uh, and then just basically use a rack nowhere. Uh, you could really, really nice ESL for this, just basically specifying your providers. Here I'm using Twitter and Facebook and password, but there's pretty much the support for everything out there. Uh, GitHub, So let's modify uh, my ABI. Uh, I, well, I basically created a shared module that we can put any of the, the login session management code in. You can see that on the right. Uh, in our <coughs> controller, just basically include the, the shared module and in grape as well. Notice you have to wrap it in grape in a helper's block. Pretty much the same as something you might get out of the box uh, with some other you know, user management library. The only problem is you have to build it yourself. Um, so Omnioth is going to give you right out of the box basically map to a bunch of slash off, slash whatever the provider is that you give it. So doing your links you use, you just basically specify login by Twitter. to in Sinatra, in, in Grave, in Rails. Uh, with, particularly with Twitter, oh, thank you for my, uh, particularly with Twitter or Facebook or anything else, basically can assume that, uh, you know, they've, they've pre-done all of the user checks for you. So notice here, I just basically, I'll show you in a second, but uh, here on the Twitter authenticate call that I've done, it, we basically just either try to find the first user or we create one for them on the spot. Uh, Omnioth is going to give you a um, off hash with a bunch of information. Um, in this case, the, the UID is going to be mapped to your Twitter ID. And then there's a user info hash of nickname and home page, profile image, anything else that you want to store. So after we've set this up, basically this is the workflow that Omnioth is going to provide for you. Uh, as soon as you send you right back to your callback URL. Pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, seriously, kudos to Michael Lee for, for putting this up there. This is pretty great. Uh, there are device bindings. I have not done any work. I don't know if anyone else has done kind of what we're trying to do here with the rack session cookie stuff. Uh, there's a lot of hard bindings in, uh, in device to a specific session hash object. Uh, it would take a little bit of hackery, it looks like, but I, I, I'm, I'm sure it's possible. Okay. 
So, event machine and drip job. Um, basically, getting set up with uh, uh, with Jerome is pretty easy. I believe there's a brew install as well, but I took this straight off his uh, his GitHub um, account here. But uh, just basically install it right up. Uh, it doesn't take a second. I did have to. I, he says that. You do have to sell out. Okay. <coughs> so creating a server. Um, let's see here. So there's really just basically uh, one action handling method. Uh, you declare your, your, your some sort of route in the type of socket that you want to create. In this, in this case, we're going to be doing a web server, web socket server. Um, I just mounted it on 1992 because Rails is going to want to be on 2000, but you can obviously put it in. In this case, uh, I, this is probably the most basic example ever, but it's really just to kind of get you up and going. Um, on open, we basically do a uh, event machine periodic timer, and we just basically are uh, every second sending out a message back to anyone who's listening and start it up. So uh, this, this is definitely a hack. Uh, so I apologize if anyone frustrated with this one. Uh, the reason I like doing it this way is because Heroku is really nice in that you can just use a Heroku.yaml file and uh, specify which apps you want to deploy to and the environment that you want to deploy to. So if you just basically deploy this app in two different locations and you specify two different uh, environments, it's just up and running just like that. So here I've just required the file since the Servers is started. A really quick web socket example. Uh, notice here, this probably only works in Chrome and Safari. I believe Firefox 4 has web sockets turned off by default, but uh, you could very easily implement some sort of pulling mechanism here. And uh, yeah, just starting dual servers. You notice we just, one example, we just passed it for Rails AV. And voila, it's gone. And there you go. So um, I want to just basically give a shout out to, uh, to my startup here. Uh, we are about five weeks into this now. Uh, definitely looking for Rails programmers. Uh, we are in San Francisco. Uh, we've been on TechCrunch many times before. Uh, we've got a celebrity list of investors. So, questions and keep in mind, I uh, only have one coffee at the end at this point. So. Explain what you're using uh, a vent machine for. So using uh, Drip-Top wants ZM ZMQ machine. So it's it's a really nice, fancy, so it's just a fancy DSL around ZMQ machine, which is built on top of the event machine. We're not really doing any, uh, any anything crazy in the event machine itself, but uh, just use that for the underlying implementation. So in session initializer, I think it's the only place you have to change it. Right now, it has its own cookie setup, and you just basically change that over to use Rack session. 